Good morning. Would you like some Flappy Jacks? They're particularly flappy this morning. No thanks, Lottie. With exams and the final challenge happening soon, I'd rather not have to wrestle with my breakfast, too. I don't blame you. It must be very stressful. I heard that Kevin will be released from the hospital on Sunday. It's too bad he won't be able to compete anymore. Has Professor Flitwick chosen a replacement? Not yet. He said he will very soon. I know he's considering both Winifred and Daniel. Either would be great for the team. What do you think, Daniel? Want to join the team? Daniel? Huh? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I've been very busy. Oh, come on, Daniel. You spend too much time in the potions lab as it is. I don't know what's so important, but we could really use you. Oh, I got a letter. Anyway, Winifred and I are going to Hogsmeade this afternoon if any of you would like to come. Oh, yes, that'd be great. I could use a break. And a butterbeer. What about you, Daniel? Daniel? What happened? It's a letter from the Ministry. Really? What does it say? My mom's prison sentence has been extended. She's going to be in Azkaban for three more years. But that doesn't make sense. Does it say why? No. It just says new evidence has come to light. Is that Gridley's coin? I thought your mum's debt was paid. It was. The countdown stopped when Gridley went to prison. For all he did, Gridley deserves to be an Azkaban. Such a cruel device. I can't believe you kept it. Wait, the countdown is still going. Hmm. There's only a few days to go. But now, it's not going to happen. Maybe there's someone you can talk to at the Ministry. Cassandra's father works for the Ministry. Winifred said he's very nice. Maybe he knows someone who can help. Uh... Mm -mm. Tell Professor Fitwick I want to be on the team. I'm done doing other people's dirty work. It's time I did something for myself. Need, especially in the spring when everything is blooming. Thank you for inviting me. Is Daniel coming too? He's going to meet us at the Three Broomsticks. I invited Cassandra to join us, but she was busy. Or said she was. I know you still aren't friends, but I hope you'll give her a chance. She's not the person you think she is. I will, Winnie. I promise. But she has to make an effort too. <laughs> Good luck with that. There's Daniel talking to someone. He looks upset. Ah! You promised me she'd be safe. Trust me, Daniel. All is going according to my plan. No, I've been working for you all year, but I'm done now. Brew your own potions. Daniel, is everything all right? Who was that? Uh... It 
looks like a crowd has gathered. Can you see why? Not me! It's not me! But weren't they all arrested? They look different! Don't get too close! Do not be afraid. We mean you no harm. Uh, that's Elliot, isn't it? We bring good tidings from the Muggle world where a miracle has happened. It seems every patient at London's largest hospital was cured overnight. But it was no miracle, and you know why. It was magic. Dozens of lives saved by the potions we take for granted. We are not me, and our new mission is this. We will share magic with muggles, not for light shows and silly demonstrations, but for good. Give magic to muggles? Are you mad? Don't listen to him! But this is the right thing to do! You know it is! And we can help so many. A simple flick of the wrist and we might change someone's life. Forever! Trust me, I've seen the suffering firsthand. In hospitals, on the street. Muggles are dying while we stand by and do nothing. Why shouldn't we help them? Because they won't understand. They'll attack us! They'll riot, you'll see. That's not going to happen, I promise. I will make them understand. Easy to say from behind that mask. I am Elliot Evers, leader of Not Me and friend to all. Join me and unite mankind under the one true power, magic. He's a dark wizard! No, stop! Listen to me! I'm not a villain! Look out! Here they come! Monster Book! Ash one! I'm always fancy. All right, everyone. We're in this together now. Thunderbird. Devo's assault. Swelling to Cornish Pixies. Monster Book. Thunderbird. Pugno! Nickel! Swelling speed! Don't you see? We come with a purpose. Join us. It only takes but one wizard to change the world. Is everyone okay? Ivy? Winifred? I'm fine. Who is that? He looked familiar. His name is Elliot Evers, and he was supposed to be long gone. Wasn't he, Daniel? Yeah, well, he's back.
Kevin, it's so good to see you up and about. What are you doing here? Oh, just catching up on some of the creatures I missed. Hagrid's gone to fetch an Ashwinder. Ouch. Don't forget to wear gloves. I will. Thanks for the advice. I heard you had some excitement in Hogsmeade. Not really. Not really? Ivy said not me was there. Not me? What are you doing messing with that lot? We didn't mean to get involved. We just saw them in Hogsmeade. There was a demonstration. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Quite a commotion. Yes, especially considering the Ministry thought they'd captured them all. I suppose this means they missed a few. This bunch is different. They've got a new leader who calls himself Lord Evermore. He wants to give magic to muggles. I thought that's what Not Me was all about. It was, but they're going about it differently now. They want to share it directly. They're handing out potions to sick muggles and... Anyway, it was exciting, but that's all. No one was hurt. For now. I don't like it. This Lord What's-His-Name sounds a wee bit familiar, if you know what I mean. Sorry, Hagrid. I don't. What do you mean? Oh, right. I forget sometimes how young you are. Well, I'm talking about you-know-who, of course. He were quite the talker. And nothing he had to say was any good. I don't think El... I mean... This new leader isn't calling for mass muggle arrests, Hagrid. Quite the opposite. Sorry, Daniel, but you just don't know. A suspicious wizard claiming to be a reformer who's also looking for followers? Uh, I don't trust him. And neither do I. Hello, Hagrid. Everyone. And Daniel. So you're speaking to me again? I thought you were mad about... you know. I'm not mad at you, Daniel. Besides, I can't very well not talk to my new teammate, can I? What? I'm on the team? Oh, did I forget to mention that? Professor Flitwick asked me to tell you. Sorry. How about that? All three of you together. Bloody fantastic, that is. Hogwarts is sure to win now. Thanks for your vote of confidence, Hagrid. And well done, Daniel. I guess you'll have to make time to train now, won't you? No more brewing extra credit potions. Correct. No more of that. Unless the next challenge involves brewing potions? Nope. It's that. The Forbidden Forest? Okay. Now I'm very pleased not to be on the team anymore. What are we supposed to do? Find something, although Professor Flitwick wouldn't say what. The focus is on teamwork and responding to unexpected challenges. And try not to be killed, no doubt. Are you ready for this, Daniel? It's very short notice. And with all that's happened, I wouldn't blame you if you weren't. Oh, I'm ready, Ivy. And we're gonna win, I know it. It's just a stroll through the woods. Cassandra, are you ready? Of course I am. What a stupid... Sorry. Yes, I'm ready. Right, this is it. The final challenge. The Forbidden Forest Quest. Simple, really. You need only make your way through the forest. There are markers that will help you know you're on the right path. Until you reach the final treasure. There's treasure? Do we get to keep it? Let's worry about that later, Mr. Page. 
Now, you'll earn points for collecting markers, overcoming obstacles, and winning in combat. Lose, become lost, or leave the forest, and your day is done. Once the treasure has been claimed, the challenge is over. What kind of obstacles can we expect, Professor? All kinds. Plant, animal, and human. Trust only each other. There are safeguards in place should you find yourself in mortal danger, but always stay alert and on guard. Sounds easy. Yes. Well, there's one more thing you should know. In the spirit of fairness, a few beasts have been imported from Japan and North America that you may not be familiar with. Didn't want to give Hogwarts a tactical advantage. Not to worry, I'm sure you'll all do splendidly. Good luck! Here we go. idea. Mm, you three, with me. Good luck, Cassandra. She smiled at me. I think I'm making progress. Great, Ivy. But can we focus on the forest? We've got a long way to go. Can't believe we're this deep into the forest already. It's so dark. And this fog certainly isn't helping. I found another marker. That's three. We're headed in the right direction, even if we can't see where we're going. I hope the others are safe. I'd feel terrible if... Look out! Oh, thanks, Ivy. Come on, let's get him before he escapes. Wow. It's so bright and sunny. Yeah, it's creepy. And where'd Vigor disappear to? There! Did you see that? What is it, Ivy? I don't see anything. There was something. But it wasn't Vigo. It was tall, kind of ghoulish. And then it disappeared. Oh no! I know what it was. A hide behind. Violet told me they have them in the forests around Ilvermorny. They can change their shape and hide behind almost anything. And they're not friendly. There! I saw it too! This was a trap. Vigo led us right to it. <coughs> Someone's in trouble. Over there, I think. Hold on. We don't know who it is. It could be another trap. Or it could be Cassandra. Let's go. She's unconscious. Help me get her free. She'll be fine, Ivy. We should keep moving. One of the teammates will find her. Is that before or after the spiders come back? No! We have to help her now, Daniel! I'll stay. 
You go on, Daniel. I'll catch up when Violet is safe. You're making a mistake. We could lose the tournament. Oh? I didn't think you cared that much about winning. I don't. But after everything this team has been through, Kevin getting hurt, Kenji's curse, putting up with Cassandra, I just don't want to throw it all away. <sighs> Daniel has to make his own decisions. Help me get her free. <gasps> Ivy, look out! Daniel, I knew you'd come back. Yeah, well, let's not make a big deal out of it. Vi! Are you hurt? My leg. Pretty sure it's broken. Where are your teammates? Gone. I took a tumble, and when I couldn't keep up, Vigo made it clear I could find my own way out. Which is how I ended up here. That monster! Come on, I'll get you out myself. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you. All right. Please make sure to stay safe, both of you. But we need you, Ivy. If you leave the Forbidden Forest, you can't come back. Mm-hmm. Cassandra! Where's the rest of the team? Knocked out. All of them. Well, first, there was a troll, and then we told Mahutakura, which was when some of Hagrid's pets showed up, and then... Well, I think it's just us and whoever's left for Ilvermorny now. Vigo, no doubt. He just won't go away. Well, where's Ivy? She didn't get knocked out, did she? She's helping Violet get out of the forest. Oh, of course she is. I know Winifred wants us to be friends, but Ivy's always so... helpful. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm sure you'll find a way, Cassandra. Of course I will. For now, let's win this thing, shall we?
incendio. Didn't go as planned. Whisper.
his bed. I'll take it. To stand back. You can break the fire. Breaking in fire. Whiz bang. Incendium. Sorry, I let you down. Akio. You're breaking in fire. before someone else tries to steal our prize. Daniel, wait. This isn't right. Shouldn't something be guarding the treasure? Yes, and whatever it was, chased after someone else. I'm with Daniel. This is our best chance to win. That's it then. Wands out, curse anything that moves. Ready? Ready for war. Hello, little have you come to die as well? It's a giant! Look out! Yes, very good. More fun. Gaulog likes this game. That was Kenji. And Zack, I think. Were they dead? Don't be ridiculous. The professors wouldn't let us die. Would they? What did you do to our friends? Are they all right? Them? Oh, they're not dead. Not yet. Not supposed to kill the little wizard. Not on purpose. Had to stop them. They were after Gaulop's treasure. Your treasure? Get to keep what's inside when all the little wizards are defeated. Soon. Very soon, Gaulop's treasure. Any ideas? Maybe if you two distract her, I can sneak around from behind and grab the chest. That would have to be quite a distraction. It's worth a shot. Hmm. Little wizards ought to check their surroundings before trying anything sneaky. Devil's Snare. Why does this forest hate us so much? Fine. We do it the hard way. Spread out. Hit her with everything you've got. If you get close to the treasure, take it. Ready? Let's do it. Incendium! 
Incendio. Don't give up, little wizards. You are doing good. Yes, yeah, still alive. Very good. <laughs> well, that didn't work. We didn't even slow her down. How do we hurt a giant? It must have a weak spot, right? Hmm. Maybe. Well, didn't Hagrid mention something about giant eyes being overly sensitive? Yes. The conjunctivitis curse. Ivy made me practice it in case we ran into a dragon. Maybe it's the same for giants. Let's try it. Cassandra, get her talking again. Get her mad. I can do that. That's an impressive weapon you have there. Do you like it? Made it out of dragon bones, scales, teeth. Killed it myself with my bare hands. Really? You killed a dragon? Must have been a very small one. Still, not bad for a half giant. Careful. Little witch should not insult Garlock. Oh, do I have your attention? Good. Do it now. <laughs> Bloody little devils! Can't see! Not fair! Not fair! Cassandra, look out! Daniel! She's unconscious, but still breathing. Thank Merlin. Stupid Daniel. Why did he do that? That should have been me. Because that's what teammates do, Cassandra. That's what friends do. Now come on. I don't know how long that curse will last. We need to get that treasure while she can't see us. What now? We can't blind her again? No. But maybe there's something else. Have you met Grop, Hagrid's half-brother? He's a giant, except a nice one, more or less. But he's always getting in scrapes in the forest, hurting himself. So he's clumsy. What of it? Don't you see? The forest. It can be a weapon too. In fact, I think we're supposed to use it. <gasps> the Devil's Snare. If we could force her into it, she'd be trapped. Let's do it. Haven't won yet, little devils. Garlock can smell you. Getting closer. Come on, then, if you be brave enough. Fire. 
incendio. Aquí. On your own. I won't let you. I'll patch you up. Sneaky little wizards. Very good. Yes, very good. You have bested Garlock. I submit. We did it! We won! Quit moving around or I can't promise what spell's coming your way next. Go on. Do it. Look at you. So close. And just so you know, I could have gotten rid of you at any time. But I thought maybe you'd be useful. I had no idea you'd get this far. And now you've made it so much easier for me to win. I do love winning so very much. You don't deserve to win, Vigo. Wrong! I absolutely deserve to win, especially after suffering an entire year in this dreadful place. I hate it here. I hate the weather, the mountains, the trees. And then there's your beloved Hogwarts. What do you know about Hogwarts? Everything! The castle is cold, the food is terrible, the instructors are boring, and the students... They're rather average, aren't they? Well, except perhaps for Cassandra. She's quite the witch, isn't she?
If I'm being honest, the only thing I like about Hogwarts is that poltergeist of yours. What's his name? Peeves. He's hilarious. I especially like how he's always popping up when you least expect it. Huh. Vi sends her regards, by the way. Wow. Sorry I didn't get here sooner, but Hagrid's silly scroots slowed me down. I would have really enjoyed battling a giant. <laughs> Another time, little witch. Another time. Is she all right? What happened? I think so. Believe it or not, Daniel sacrificed himself to protect her, and she practically did the same for me. Wow. I didn't see that coming. I guess my sister was right. So, where is... Daniel? You're hurt. We need to get you to the Matron. Oh, yes, please. But not before I see what's in that chest. Am I delirious? Oh, yes. Sure. I think they there are. There are seven of them. Which means... Robin is going to be very jealous. Attention. Thank you. First, in a rather delightful, if not entirely predictable, turn of events, each host school won their own challenge. Imagine that. <laughs> it is my sincere hope that the results of your actions offer valuable lessons in the future for others and yourselves. Competition. Finally, we can just hang out as friends and enjoy ourselves. I don't know. Uh, Vigo didn't look very happy. That's because our headmaster is furious with him. He's going to be in big trouble when we get home. Good. He deserves it. Daniel, I just wanted to say thank you. I... Appreciate what you did, and I'm sorry you were hurt. That's okay. I got smashed by a giant and lived to tell the tale. Makes for a good story. She was a half giant, actually. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. She was quite tall. Yeah, I know. This is weird, right? Don't worry about it. We'll probably be enemies again next year. We'll see. I think becoming half friends with Cassandra might be the most amazing thing we did all year. More amazing than defeating a giant? Hmm. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Mr. Page, I need to speak with you in private. Now? Oh, all right. What's going on? 
I don't know. The headmistress wanted to speak to Daniel. She seems rather concerned about something. I hope it's not serious. You don't think it's about Elliot, do you? Because they were friends last year? I don't think so. Oh, he's coming back. Daniel, what did McGonagall want to tell you? Nothing. Whatever it is, you can tell us. I think I left something in patience class. I should go get it. Something's wrong. Where's the professor? Professor, what happened? What did you tell Daniel? There was an escape attempt at Azkaban. Mr. Page's mother was... involved. I think it's best if he told you the rest. Come on, Ivy. Let's find Daniel. Daniel, what happened? Professor McGonagall said it had something to do with Azkaban, but she wouldn't tell us what. She said your mother was involved. Is she alright? They killed her. What? Oh no! They said she was trying to escape. Why would she do that? I don't... I don't know, Daniel. That's because she wouldn't. They're lying. They killed her. Because of me. That doesn't make sense, Daniel. It must have been an accident. Why would the Ministry kill her? It was not me. They did it. Because I refused to brew any more potions for them. They did it. And now I'll never see her again. Daniel, what are you doing? She is free. I'm so sorry, Daniel. Daniel. Tired. I got a letter from the Ministry. Several, in fact. They said my mom wasn't trying to escape. It was someone else. Her death was an accident. Oh, so it wasn't not me? Maybe. I don't know. Ugh. It's probably another letter from the Ministry telling me how sorry they are. I'm so glad I caught you before we left. I finally remembered who was watching you in my dream. Really? Who was it? That friend of Daniel's. The one we saw in Hogsmeade. Elliot Evers? Why was he watching me? It was just a dream. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. There you are. Where's Daniel? He was right here. Where did he go? Come on out, Elliot. I know you're here. Hello, Daniel. Look at it. Tell me, what does it say? Only the truth. Liar! It was you at Azkaban, wasn't it? You were behind the escape. You used Gridley's key. Of course it was me. And it took more than one magic key to pull off. That was only a small part of it. You killed my mom! No, Danny. He set me free. Mom? You're... You're alive? I am, Danny. And free. Thanks to Elliot. Do you understand now? There was no grand escape attempt. This was only ever about a single witch. A witch the Ministry now believes is dead. What? What? 
Why? Oh, Danny. I missed you so much. But... Don't you see? We're going to be a family again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.